ಬಂದೇಹಂ The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 6th Canto, 1st Chapter, Text Number 23, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 23rd of May, 1976, in Honolulu, Hawaii. Sri Rupam Chakra Jatam ಭಗವತ್ತಿ <laughs> So, vritti means livelihood. If one adopts abominable livelihood, there is no, I want to say, hope of spiritual advancement. Finished. Because we have learned from Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna says, Krishna, ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಪರಂ ಧಾಮ ಪವಿತ್ರ ಪರಮ ಭವ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಯು ಆರ್ ದಿ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಪರಂ ಧಾಮ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ರಿಸಾರ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಭಿತಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಪವಿತ್ರ ಪರಮ ಭವ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಪ್ಯೋ ಸೊ ನೋಬಡಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ಯೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಡ್ ದೇಶಾಂ ತು ಅಂತರ್ಗತ ಪಾಪ ವನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಕಂಟಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಂಫುಲ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ದೇಶಾಂ ಅಂತರ್ಗತ ಪಾಪ ಜನಾನ್ ಪುಣ್ಯಕರ್ಮ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ಎಂಗೇಜ್ ಇನ್ ಪಾಯಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಪೇ ಸಚ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ದಂದ ಮಹಾ ನಿರ್ಮುಕ್ತ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಎನಿ doubt and duality bhajanti maan dilabhrata he fixed up mind he can become krishna conscious so this ajave he learned all this nonsense abominable way of livelihood therefore his example is this how he was down trodden and fallen He stayed by the grace of Narayana, how he was elevated. That is the Itihas history, which is Sudha Goswami, his sighting, how Krishna consciousness is powerful. That is the motive of narrating Ajave, Uddha, in delivering Ajave. So here it is said, Evam Nivasatastasya Ravayana Satasuta. Everyone is Satasuta, his children. Even one big economic, economist professor, Professor Marshall, he says, I was a student of economics, in the Marshall book, he says that economic development begins out of family affection. Family affection, that is the basis. That was his understanding that nobody would work to, for livelihood unless he is attached in family. That is his proposition. So here he was attached to the family. ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಅಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಅಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಸಿಡಿಯೋರ್ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ 
the Vedic civilization is so nice that you accept the platform which is suitable for you. Gubramachari, Grihastha, Banaprastha, Sanna. The spiritual, these are called ashrama. Ashrama means where spiritual culture is practiced. That is called ashrama. Perhaps we know this ashrama word. Ashrama means it is not a place for sense gratification. It is a place for advancing in Krishna consciousness. That is ashrama. So there are four ashramas for your spiritual cultivation. Brahmachari, Grihastha. Grihastha is also ashrama. Parents, that is also ashrama. In the Grihastha life is meant for cultivating Krishna consciousness. It is all right. This is ashrama. Grihastha ashrama. Then return life, Bhāna-prasya. Although Grihastha ashrama is allowed, but not all, for the only time. That after the death, no. That is not allowed. After fiftieth year, twenty-five years to fiftieth year, the young man's spirit is there, the sex power is strong. So this Grihastha ashram is a concession for satisfying sex, that's all. But not more than fifty years. Then you must give up. That is the Vedic civilization. You accept the Hastasam, after twenty-fifth year you remain a Brahmacharya. Learn from Guru how to become Brahmacharya. Guru Kul. Brahmacharya Guru Kule Vasan Dhanta. How to practice self-control, sense-control. A Brahmacharya is forbidden to seem younger. Even the spiritual master's wife is young. Sometimes spiritual master is considered as mother. Adho mata guru putni. There are seven mothers. So real mother, adho mata, guru putni, spiritual master's wife, she is also mother. Adho mata, guru putni, brahmani, the wife of a brahmana, his mother. Actually every woman is mother. That is moral instruction. Mahasriva Paradhareshu. Anyone, any woman who is not your wife, except your wife, everyone, every woman is to be considered as mother. This is education. The last cell of education is defined by Chanakya Pandit. Who is Pandit, learner? So he does not say that one who has passed any PhD, DSC, no. He doesn't say that. He says any person who has learned to see like this, what is that? Matrivat Paradari Su. Everyone's wife should be considered. Paradara, Paradara is Allah's wife. Matrivat Mar. Therefore, the basic system is when we address another woman, Mara, Mother address. Mother, can I do this? Would you like this? The address should be mother. Practice. This is practice. The Brahmacharya is practice. He goes to every householder's <coughs> life. Mother, give me some. That is this child. If he is taught from the very beginning of his life, that address all women as mother. That training and intermingling with anyone. That is, is different. That is Brahmacharya. So Brahmacharya is taught that how he should behave in society, what is the aim of life. That is Brahmacharya. Mahatri was Pradhar. 
Parukat Vesulo Stava. And others poverty just like garbage. Nobody goes. But I have seen nowadays garbage is also um, tackled. I have seen in Hong Kong. One woman is finding out something valuable from the garbage. This is for you. It is untouchable, but still people are trying to get something from the garbage. So downtrodden, this collision. Matabat Pradareshu Paragabhesu Nostabat Atavat Sarvabhuteshu. All other living entities think like yourself. That means your pains and pleasure, as you feel, you should take up others' pains and pleasure. Not that you protect yourself from one danger and you cut the throat of the poor animals on the tree that it has no soul. This is not education. This is education. That whether the animal has soul or not soul is a considered later on. But when knife is on my throat, I cry, and he also cries. Why shall I say that it has no soul and let me kill it? So that means he does not know how to see other living entities like himself. Buddha philosophy is based on this, that whatever you feel, pain, you should not inflict to others. This is legislation. Mahatma Pradhari, Shun Pradhari, Shunostava. So this is moral education. And in this Shastra it is also said that there are seven mothers, Adu Mata, Guru Patni, Brahmani, Rajapatnika, Dhenu Dhatsi Tatha Prithi Sapta Eti Matrismita. Real mother and Guru Patni, the wife of spiritual master, teacher, Adumada Guru Patni, Brahmani, the wife of a Brahmana, and Rajapatnika, the queen, she is also mother, Raja, Dhenu, cow. Denu dhatri, nuts. Denu dhatri, tatha prithi, as well as the earth. Earth is mother because they are giving us so many things, fruit, flowers, grains for our eating. Mother gives for eating, cow gives us milk. This is sense. But if one becomes addicted, to prostitute hunting, then he will be fallen. That is the example. Uh, then he will become thief, rascal, cheater, drunkard, and so on, so on, so on. Why? Now, nah, only for maintaining the family. The family maintenance, the cats and dogs, they also do, the birds also do, but they do not do anything unnatural. A bird maintains his children, brings some fruit or something in the mouth and puts into the mouth of the, the small kiddies. So that is natural. But why one should take unfair means for maintaining family? This is culture. This is culture. So but nowadays they have manufactured. Necessity has no law. I require money, somehow or other I must have it. Let me at all. This means that means no. So Evan Nivasatastasa Lalonayasa. The Lalonayasa Tasuta. So without understanding what is the duty of human being, because he is fallen. So we should not bother for maintaining our family and children till the time of death. No. Up to twenty-five years. A brahmachari is trained to refrain from sex life. That is brahmachari. Celibacy. But if he is still not 
if then he is allowed to accept Grihastrai. There is no cheating, hypocrisy, that I proclaim myself as Brahmachari or Sannyasi and I secretly do all nonsense. This is hypocrisy. The hypocrisy life will not make man advance in spiritual life. That is the example given by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. His personal associates, you know, Chakra Haridas, Junior Haridas. He was a very nice singer. He was singing in the assembly of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And one day he went to bake some rice from Siddhi Maitri's sister. And there was a young woman, and he lustfully saw them. That is sometimes natural. But Kripta Mahaprabhu understands that just to teach us while he was kidding. He said, Who brought this rice? In Chodhavarita. So ask him not to see me anymore. Finish. Everyone was surprised. What happened? Uh, then by inquiry it was found that he lustfully saw one young woman. The just Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is so strict that he rejected him from his associates. Then other big, big devotees requested him that he has committed some mistake and please excuse him, he is your servant. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, all right, then you bring him back, you live with him, I am living in this place. I am living in this place. Oh, then he said, no, sir, we shall not raise this course tension anymore. So when the Chaitanya found it impossible to again go into the assembly of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he found it hopelessness. Then he went to Triveni and committed suicide. Mm-hmm. The Chaitanya knows anything. Then sometimes after he inquired, that, what about Chaitanya Haridas? Uh, somebody said, uh, you rejected him out of disappointment. He has committed suicide. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Let's see how it's different. That's nice. He never expressed any, any sympathy. Oh, I rejected this person and he has committed suicide. Oh. No, he said, Oh, that's nice, that's all right. He said, right. This is one thing. Another thing, Sivananda, one of his very exalted devotee, he was taking care of all devotees who were coming to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to visit during Rafa Jatra. So his wife came and offered Chaitanya Mahaprabhu obeisances, and he saw that the wife is pregnant. So he immediately asked Sivaranda, your wife is pregnant? Yes. All right. When he gives birth to a child, you keep his name like this. Now see, one man simply saw with lusty desire to be a young man, he was rejected. And one man has his wife pregnant, he, he adored him, that's all right. So sex life is not forbidden in this movement, but hypocrisy is forbidden. They do become hypocrite, then there is no way. That is state of Mahasya. Chaitanya Haridas, he presented himself as a brahmachari and he was looking after a young woman. Then he understood, he is a hypocrite, rejected. And Sivaranda said, he was Gilyastha, Gilyastha must have children, what is wrong there? Huh? He said, yes. My remnant support shall to be given. This is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's movement. So our request is don't be hypocrite. There are four ashramas Brahmachari, Grihastha, Banaprastha, Sanya. Whichever ashrama 
is suitable for you, you accept. But sincere, don't be hypocrite. If you think that you want sex, all right, you marry and remain like a gentleman, don't be hypocrite. This is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He did not like hypocrisy. Nobody likes. But for a person who is seriously engaged in Krishna consciousness movement, for him sex life and material opulence is not very good. That is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu opinion. Param param jigimishu bhavu nishkin chanasya bhajaran mukhasya. Param param, therefore voluntarily Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepted sannyasa. He was very nicely situated in his family life. When he was family man, he married twice. One wife died, he married again. So, the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taught us not to become, but when he took sannyas, he was very, very strict. No man could come very near to him from distance. This is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's teaching. So, they have to follow strictly the rules and regulations. If you are serious, then this is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's movement. Niskinchana sa bhagavad bhajanon mukhasa parana parana jiginisu bhavusagarasa vishayinam sandarasanam atujusitanj hahantra hahantra vishabhakshanata dhirasa. Those who are determined that in this life we shall finish this material way of life, on material life, that is real struggle for existence. Actually everyone is trying. Material life means it is full of distress. The kala, Krishna says. So, so now you prolong this material way of life. That is called struggle for existence. The struggle for existence and survival of the fetus, this word is very common. But nobody knows what is that struggle for existence and what is the platform of becoming fittest? Nobody knows. It is we are preaching. Thus, if you remain in this material world, then struggle for existence will continue. And fittest means one who has come to the spiritual platform, he is fittest to survive. For the survivor, who is going to survive? Do you mean to say by cultivating health culture very strong and you will survive? Never will survive. So who will survive? Only Krishna conscious. If he is strictly Krishna conscious, then he will survive. Tatta Deham Punarjan Manaiti Mamiti. The Krishna conscious person who has studied Krishna only. Nothing more. Perfect. That is fit. This body also, this body is not permanent, that's a fact. But Tatta Deham, after giving us this body, no more material body. Spiritual body. Satchitananda Bhikra. So we should be very serious. We should not fall down from the standard of Vedic culture. If you are actually serious about stopping this, manasasthani indriyani prakritisthani karsa. This is travel, for instance. In this material world, everyone is struggling to survive. But who is surviving? That way, materialistic way of life will not help you to survive. That is, prakritikyamanani, nature is so strong that you must die. I am very strong. Uh, you may be very strong. That's all. But you must. Uh, there is a, uh, I must say, joking story that one man thought, how to avoid death? Then a Hiranagasi. So he thought that the Jamaraj 
He is the superintendent of death. He comes to death. I shall make such policy that he may not come to me. What is that policy? To bring some stool. I shall smear over my body. And out of bad smell he will not come. <laughs> so he began to smear stool on his body at the time of death. <laughs> so this is going on. <laughs> they are making body very stout and strong that they will survive. Nobody will survive, sir, unless he is Krishna Kamsa. Thank you. <laughs>